Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the very first episode of Script Showcase. And in this first episode, I want to start off small. I don't want to jump in with some big scripts. So I'm just doing some basic, simple scripts. So in this episode, I'm going to be showcasing four different scripts to, to by, I don't know how you say his or her name, Tuskihime, something like that. And one by Diamond, the Diamond and Platinum 3 and Casper Gaming and let's jump into it. So we are going to be using the Tutorial World X as um, the um, project for these um, scripts. So the first script we're going to showcase is the data backup and mo all these scripts that, um, that are in this game right now are plug and play. So once you put them in, they're going to start working and you need a little to no edits to make them work. So we're going to go ahead and start with the data backup. What the data backup does is basically every time you play test your game, it's going to create a backup of every single thing in your data folder. So here is where the folder is going to be created. Um, it's going to be called backup and it's going to be in your tutorial folder. So all you have to do is go to backup and you access them and I will show you the backups once we play test this game. So you play test it and then will automatically save automatically save your um data. You don't even have to play the game, you could just jump back and as you can see it's created right there and it basically um shows you the date obviously you could keep track as you can see right there it says 2013 today is I mean March 17th and I don't know what the rest of that is but basically you go into your data and you will see all your data in this folder and then each time you make a new test play which is nice it creates a new folder for you it's nice and kind of bad because then if you keep on doing it it's gonna populate like crazy because already these two full I mean it's gonna take up a whole bunch of space um the only customization that you actually have to this script is changing the name of it and if you want to run it or not so you could change the name of it and well the path of it and then and you could turn it on and off okay let's move on to give npc a random position when starting maps and it's made by diamond and platinum three and what this script does is if you give a an event a special name every time you enter the map is going to be in a different location than it was the previous time you entered uh, actually a random position not a different because it might be the same position twice who knows you might get lucky um so this basically is to simulate realism so that means that when you enter a map the same npc isn't going to be the same spot as it was like two seconds ago i mean when you left the map and come back well to set up this um event all you basically have to do is well type in this event command as i mean Type that in as the event name. So we're going to go ahead and look for random. Okay, let's use this NPC. Let's use Ralph. And basically, all we have to do is type in his name as random. And of course, he tells you the um, accepted values, random, or all caps, or any of those will work. Um, uh, also, it makes it so that it can only put the event in a position that's a walkable so it's not gonna like put it on top of the roof or something like that it's gonna be some place that you could get to i mean not some place you'll get to but some place you could like walk around in but because it might put it somewhere if over here is like um if you can walk on it or it might put it the downside of it is it might put it somewhere that you can't actually get to that means like it might be some place you could walk on but you can't actually get to it so that's the only downside so let's go ahead and play test it and show off show off the random position. Let me just lower my volume. And as you can see, Ralph is somewhere totally different. And as you can see, this is what I was talking about. I can't actually get to him. So and let's just leave the map. I mean it, it's not for like stationary stationary events that are supposed to be in one place. It's supposed to be an event that's actually moving around. So if we go back, as you can see, Ralph is at a different position. 
Okay, let's let's move on to the next script, which is Large Choices again by Tuski Hime. And this is actually something very, very needed in RPG Maker VS and all RPG Maker RPG Maker games. Because as you all know, um, judging if you've been using RPG Maker for a while, when you're making a choice, so let's go ahead and when you show choice, you only get four options. And most of the time it limits you because let's say you want to have like eight options. Then you're going to have to make choice one, choice two, then choice three, then choice four. You're going to um, make it like show more options. We don't want that because that sucks. So what this script does is basically allows you to have more choices but in a in a better way to like it's simple and you don't even have to think about it so you say um i tried to make these options i'm good not so good what's it what's it to ya and what so let me just let it make that breach and a branch whatever um then all you have to do is make another show choice you don't know scripting thing require you just make it how you would naturally think is gonna work so basically let me just fill in some of these okay let me breach again so basically all you have to do is make another show choice directly after you make your first show choice and now let's go ahead and test this event out and see how this works New game, ba -da -ba -ba. talk to this guy. As you can see, you get more options. You get one, two, three, four from the first, and then one, two, three from the other one. Um, I don't actually know how what the limit of adding um of adding choices are. I don't know how many you could put in one screen, but yeah. Um, okay, let's move on to the final script that we're going to be showcasing will be CSCA Auto Save Plus by Casper Gaming. And this again, like I, like all the other scripts, is another plug and play with the only edits to it. Actually I'm gonna get to the oh, I'm gonna get to the edits later. What this script does is basically auto save your game for you because as you may know if you've been watching my videos for a while that I don't like when games don't remind me to save well this script allows the game to save for me so i don't have to worry about saving because remember when you walk in down the dungeon and then you see oh look it's a boss let me go fight him and you 100 percent forget to save and that boss kicks your ass now you're now not only did you not save you've lost everything that you found and now you have to do that all over again clear all those enemy and god that they put a random encounter which is just terrible that would just make it less fun like you will more than likely quit the game well this script fixes all of that for you so basically you get some options to auto save so you could auto save when you transfer between maps after a battle when you gain gold when you gain an item when you gain a weapon when you gain armor when you you take steps and you could turn those all, all off and on by simply typing false for on i mean true and true for on and you get to um pick what switch you want to use to um disable it and also if you do pick the step option you get to pick how many steps before it saves and you get more options with variables um test setup this is basically um for the text what do you want to say when you're at the um, loading screen and other stuff and this is what it says when it's actually auto saving so let's go ahead and test this out let's just go ahead and continue walk outside this house and as you can see it is said auto saving and what that means is the game is now saving and you don't have to worry at all again as you can see auto saving so this is for the transfer and it also works when you gain items and money and stuff like that so you never ever have to save again and as you can see i don't actually know where it's saving oh yeah it saves in a different place so let's go ahead and to title this option right there that says load game is actually where you would go to load game but i have a script that's conflicting with it so yeah not the script that i mentioned but it's something else um so 
that's it for the first episode of um, script showcase and i hope you guys enjoyed it remember to comment on this video and like it because remember that's the things that keep me going and also subscribe if you want to see more of this series and my other series thank you guys again for watching and i will see you guys in the next video i make not see you but basically just talk to you and hopefully teach you something and thank you guys for the last time and signing off peace